Maybe because of the amount of success yeah. that he's had this year, he's gone to it more and more. Popped up around the bag at second, and it is Bogarts going over the bag to make the catch. That was a little tricky. So Betts is retired. Oh, catcher, but DHing today, the day game after the night game, and a check swing foul. Over Swing and a miss down 0 2. There's that slider we were talking. On the ground to his left. Cam's got it. Spins, fires, gets it. Oh. A one, two, three. Walker Bueller on the mound today for the Dodgers. And he'll miss. See if the Padres can get to him early today. Foul. Small sample size, only four innings. That was against the Marlins. 2 1 pitch. The fly ball to left has Kike Hernandez back onto the edge of the warning track to make the catch. That carried very well to left field. Well, the first out here of this bottom of the first. Mueller can land at those breaking pitches of his. He's got the knuckle curve. Seven homers and 21 runs batted in. For whatever reason, some of those patterns develop. It's kind of strange. It's a fly ball center field. Pajas headed back at the wall. Gone! First, first inning home run for Fernando Tatis Jr. Puts the Padres on top one to nothing. Eighth home run of the year, Fernando. Yeah, 442 the distance. Fernando Cronenworth had last night off back in there today and before the Tommy John surgery longest active streak in the majors is out to right center Pa has back and that is gone home run for Jake Cronenworth whoa they saying that didn't get out they're saying he is 2-2 two -two pitch straightens him up 3-2. Popped up. Shallow right center. Rojas going back and coming. Pajes will make the catch at ends the inning, but the damage has been done. Fernando Tatis Jr. connects on his eighth home run of the year. Followed by home run number seven of the year for Jake Cronenworth. Not to the crown zone. Padre. up. Jewel. Strike call. Wow. Once he didn't, as we mentioned. Skies one to shallow center, sending Kim out. Makes the catch. Holds on. That was an adventure. How did <laughs> Fernando shows him the ball. How did he make that catch? He was drifting, drifting, drifting. Great concentration. <laughs> Heel. Oh, oh, almost. Hang on. Oh, Cam Pisano and Kim. And a grounder foul outside of first base. And a Cronenworth. Waves at the knuckle curve, and it's. Chopped down the first baseline foul. Let's take a look at who's been getting it done. Presented by the breaking ball. The ground ball down the first baseline. Fair ball. Freeman's got it. Bueller was late and he's not going to get there. He became a spectator there, looking at Freddie Freeman making a great play, but has to cover it and get over in time. And Merrill beat the runner on with an infield hit in the room. And 23. Runs batted in, jumps back out of the way of a pitch down. And we'll let the fans I decide. Mean, for a lot of years, I've been reminding you as this one is grounded up the middle. Diving Rojas. They get the lead runner. No! Miss the lead runner. Now we'll see if they're going to challenge this. Look like Betts got the foot on the back. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> 1 1. I'll check Twitter. Yeah. Maybe fall. 2 1. Line to right field. That's in. Heading to the right field corner. 
Cambisano is heading for third. He'll be stopped there. It's a double for Luis Arise, and it's second and third with two down for San Diego. Popped up, shallow right. Bogart's out. Tatis in. Easy to play for Fernando. Two down. The thing about Mike said, Gray, we've we've told this story. Donnie and I have the chance. Much better without the top button. Tell your story top. walking. Oh, he's like, <laughs> this is good. One hop hit by Rojas, and he robs Cronenworth. For out number one. I don't think I can say this. Well, nothing Jake can do differently right here. He puts a good swing on it. Boy, that ball's got some top spin to it. As Rojas corrals that one. <laughs> or serial killers button the top button. <laughs> Popped up. <laughs> Austin Barnes makes the catch round number two.